today I will compare one of the most expensive thermal paste on the market with Arctic MX4. I will do all the tests on my very hot laptop Dell Latitude 5491, which heats up to 100 degrees. Yep, that's a hot machine. In short, it has Intel Core i5-8400H processor, which is high productive and of course very hot. Moreover, I will use such a cooling stand and at the end of the video, you will understand why. So let's get started. Although I used to be quite skeptical about the AIDA64 stress test, I decided to do it anyway, because that's when my laptop heats up a lot. Arctic MX4 thermal paste is applied and here we go. The laptop is on the table, as you can see the processor throttles a lot. Unfortunately, this is a common problem of this model. I want to note that I turned on the ultra performance mode. This means that the fans will work at 100% to better cool the CPU and GPU. However, as you can see, this doesn't help much, because the laptop almost heats up to 100 degrees. We often see 98 degrees. The temperature in the room is 22 degrees. I will say that much. It's hot. I mean laptop temperatures. The next test will be in my favorite game, which is Hollow Knight. To make it more convenient, I connected the gamepad GameSeer T4 Pro. Again, the laptop is on the table and in game we will get an average temperature of 85 degrees. Of course, it's better than 100 degrees in AIDA64, but still, it's too hot. Now, let's try putting the laptop on a cooling stand and see if the result will change. I'm a fan of simple stands, not cooling pads with fans. And voila, our temperature changed by 10 degrees, that's for sure. The average temperature is 75 degrees and sometimes it even drops lower. That's magic. A simple stand makes a laptop much cooler and even with not the most expensive thermal paste, you can get a pretty good temperature. But now let's do a similar test with Noctua NTH2 thermal paste. The laptop is on the table, I run the stress test and at the beginning there even was a little throttling, but then it dropped completely to zero. First I thought, this is a miracle. The average temperature was 90 degrees, which is almost 10 degrees less than with Arctic MX4 thermal paste. In my opinion, this is a great result. Now let's try to put the laptop on the stand. I will say right away that the result is even more impressive. First of all, throttling is gone, which is a major victory for such a laptop. The longer stress test lasts, the lower the temperature became. At some moment, the temperature dropped to 72 degrees, which is just mind-blowing. Words cannot express how surprised I was. After all, I was resigned to the fact that this laptop will be heated to 100 degrees for the rest of its life. As you can see, the miracle happened. In Hollow Knight, the average temperature without a cooling stand was 77 degrees. I want to remind you that with MX4, it was 85 degrees. But we are interested what the result will be using the stand. To be honest, the average temperature was 70 degrees. Sometimes it was lower and you could even see 65 degrees. And sometimes it was higher than 70 degrees. The fact is that the fans did not always work at 100%, they turn on fully only when the processor is heavily loaded. But I'm satisfied with this result. My conclusions. Nocto Troma Pace is a high quality product that I will continue to use. I was skeptical about thermal paste because I thought that they were all the same. The next important conclusion is the need of using cooling stand. I'm serious. This thing is so cheap, cooling stand is must have for everyone, especially if you have a gaming laptop. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to stop laptop from overheating.